Terry. It's Thursday, March 3rd. I'm Judith. And I'm Ben. And, and you're watching THS TV. TV. Rangers, if you have a car and you drive it to school, you must have a parking permit. Not one of those fake ones that have no numbers below it, but a real one that's registered in our files. And if I don't have this said permit? Well, then you get that big yellow boot on your vehicle, which not only costs 25 bucks to get off, but it's also very, very embarrassing. Is it now? And how much is this said parking permit that I'm required to have? Well, it's only $10, Ben. See Ms. Alanese in the front office. You need your proof of insurance, your license plate number, and your driver's license. And speaking of cars, vroom vroom, AutoFest 2016 is coming. And what is that? It is a day when really cool cars will be on display. There's door prizes, games, trophies, and vendors with cool stuff for your vehicle. Vroom vroom. <laughs> it's from 10 to 2, April 16th at Lamar High School in the parking lot. It's sponsored by the Lamar CISD Automotive Technology Group. And it just sounds like it's like tons of fun. It really cool. does sound like fun. Mimimum's car. Okay. And tomorrow is the last day to get your name printed on the front of the yearbook. And how much is that? It is $5, and you can order your name and icons like sports or band icons when you order at www.smart-pay.com. And when is the last day to get a yearbook for only $65? It's like the middle of May, but you can come on by room 119 and ask about how you can get the yearbook for just 10 bucks down. Or if you see Ms. Adams, you can just ask her. Yes, you can. Now, the library is closed all day today, guys, for TSI testing. It'll be closed tomorrow during A lunch as well. You know, Ben, depression is a serious illness. It's not a feeling. It's not a you'll get over it thing either. There's help out there because depression can lead to feelings of hopelessness and despair. That's, that's very sad. Mm -hmm. There are times, though, when we need to reflect about how we're feeling. Here's a video from Jack on how to handle those feelings. What's up, T.I.? Siri, Google the definition for antisocial. Searching Google for the definition for antisocial. A mental health disorder characterized by disregard for other Not people. Not sociable. Do it make you a bad person? I say no. Being antisocial don't make you a bad person. Or 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 nor is it a disorder. I say it's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's like being social these days. It's not being social. It's more of Envy, being mean to each other. So being antisocial, it's not such a bad thing. Remember, range of pride every day in every way. Remember, Rangers, if you have any of the following symptoms, please talk to one of our counselors. They are here to help you with things like difficulty with relationships, frequent absences from school, unexplained crying, lack of interest in things you loved before, alcohol or substance abuse, reckless behavior, feeling of worthlessness or difficulty concentrating. If you have any of the following symptoms, please seek help. The counselors are here for you and any teacher is also there to help. Now, the Rangerettes have chosen Mr. Sudharma as the Rangerette Teacher of the Month for February. Congratulations! The Rangerettes choose a teacher who's helped them academically and supported them. Congrats, Mr. Sudharma! In sports, Marissa Vickery and Emily Urbish both set season bests at the Wharton Tiger Women's Invitational Wednesday. Marissa beat her previous best score by shooting 105, and Emily knocked several strokes off her best with a 122. 
The boys junior varsity and freshman teams are headed to Angleton today for the Angleton Relays. The girls junior varsity team is headed over to George Ranch for a relay event. Both the boys and the girls track teams will be at Trailer Stadium tomorrow for the Lamar CISD Relays. The softball team starts a tournament today through Saturday. In baseball, both the varsity and junior varsity teams are starting tournaments. Good luck to all of our athletes. The Sam Houston State University Go Center will be here today to answer your questions about FAFSA and financial aid for college. It doesn't matter if you're going to SHSU or not, they want to help you get some money for college. Check your email from Ms. Parker for some of the items you'll need today. Now, let's get to my least favorite part of the day and let's get it over with. Which is my most favorite part of the day. No, it's the worst part. No, it's a good joke. I, I strongly doubt that. Mm -mm. Well, okay, listen, listen, listen. When can astronauts visit the moon? When they're not on it? No, no, no. Keep guessing, keep guessing. Uh, when there's aliens on it. It's aliens. No. It's got to be no, aliens. No. When it's full. Get it? Like, full moon because there's no more space. With aliens? Get it? You get it? With aliens? No, okay. No, okay. Just go. <sighs> Well, guys, if you would like to be a pal next year, go see Mr. Wizabrock in room 218 and pick up an application. This is a really, really fun group, and you get a lot of great feelings from helping the youngsters. The youngsters. <laughs> if you know a lot about World War II, tell your counselor you'd like to be on the academic decathlon team. Happy birthday to Coach Lofton, Angel Medell, Claudia Zorogzoa, Eduardo, <laughs> Eduardo Segura, Elizabeth Gardner, Jasmine Garza, Caitlin Petit Marshall, Kevin Linares, Miguel Rubacaba, and Sonia Rangel. So, what are they serving for the cafeteria food tomorrow? It's pepperoni food. pizza and fish sticks with a roll. That sounds great! So, who is going to be playing at the rodeo tonight? I really want to know. Tonight is Jason Aldean. Tomorrow is Black Heritage Day, so Jason Derulo is playing tomorrow night. Ooh, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. Now, Judith, you know I am the the worst at remembering things like homework, for instance. In other words, you procrastinate? Very much so. Senioritis kicked in. And one thing I haven't procrastinated on, though, is getting my cap and gown for graduation. You have until tomorrow to order it without paying the late fee. And if money's a problem, go see Miss Hudson. Remember, Rangers, we have new gowns this year, so you definitely can't use the ones from last year. And they look snazzy. I'm so glad I ordered mine. You mean your mom ordered yours? Yeah. Thanks, Ma. If you have clock hours, Saturday school is open this Saturday. Get here on time because they close the doors and you cannot get in. You cannot mm -mm. get in. No, no. Don't wait until the last minute to get those clock hours. Opportunities dry up and you'll be scrambling to get hours so you can get credit for your class. And with that, we're out of here, Terry. Remember, ring your pride, pride every, every day, day, every way. Yay! Yeah.